Hey everybody, I'm Jed Toffer with White House Custom Color and today we're going to talk about some Photoshop stuff. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is cropping. And we'll get into some resolution and we'll get into aspect ratio and some things of that nature. But we're going to start with cropping. I'm on the Move tool right now here in the toolbar on the left hand, left hand side. If I go into Crop, which is this tool right here, um, you'll notice that a crop comes up. The first thing I'm going to do is clear this. So you'll notice in the top window here that as you change tools, that that window changes as well depending on the tool you're using. So the crop tool gives you this information here. If I click clear, it all goes away. And I can go up to uh, ratio. I can choose width and height by resolution. And then I can choose one of these presets, which are basically, uh, they're all ready, they're, they're finished. So if I want uh, four by five at 300, I can click that. You can make your own presets too. But this basically means that it's ready to send off for a four by five. Uh, if you want to send it off to White House right like this, you click enter, it's ready to go to the lab. That's a 4 by 5 at 300 uh, pixels per inch, which is exactly what we want our resolution to be. But let's dive in a little bit more and see what else that this crop tool has to offer. If I go up to ratio, for instance, um, and, and this is set to a 2 by 3 ratio. Now that doesn't mean it's going to be 2 inches by 3 inches. That means that the width is going to be 2 to the heights 3. So that's a 4 by 6. Um, that can be a 12 by 18. That basically is just a fraction of whatever the width is compared to whatever the height is. So in this case, uh, I have a 2, 3. I could also change it to a 4 by 5, which also happens to be an 8 by 10 or a 16 by 20. But that's what ratio is. And you'll even see that in parentheses for a 4 by 5, they have 8 by 10. Um, but what I typically use is width and height and resolution. So if I want to make an 8 by 10 out of this image, I'll, I'll type 8 into that first box, 10 into the second box. It's already sent to inches. And then I want, my again, my resolution to be 300. So there's my 8 by 10. And I can essentially adjust by pulling in on the corners or by pulling out from the sides. It'll even go off the canvas, so keep that in mind. But when this window's up, I can essentially move the image within the crop wherever I want. Um, I'll place it probably right there because I'm also looking at that chair. Another interesting thing though is you can change it uh, from, a, from a portrait oriented image to a landscape oriented image just with this button here in between with these arrows. If I click those arrows then all of a sudden now I have a horizontal image. I'm going to want to adjust that again and go up like this and then center my subject within the image. Um, but that's what those arrows do right there is, is basically swap from portrait to landscape if you have um, an aspect ratio that's not one to one, one to one being a square image. So that's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to apply that. There's my horizontal image um, for, for, for an 8 by 10 at 300. If I go into the image and go to image size, if I go to image in my menu, uh, my top bar and go down to image size, I'm going to see this relationship. So you'll see all the pixels are here. I have 3,000 pixels by 2,400 pixels. That happens to correspond to width times resolution and height times resolution. So notice that. 3,000 is 10 times 300, um, and 2,400 is the height, 8 times 300. So if I change my resolution, let's change my resolution to screen resolution, which is 72. You're going to notice a couple things. Look how less pixels, I'm not using near as many pixels because 10 times 72 is 720, 8 times 72 is 576. This looks fine on a screen, but if you print this, this is not going to print well. And that's essentially what it means. You'll also notice that there's a lot less data in the image. It's 1.19 megs when it was 20.6 megs. So your image is of a lot smaller. There's not near as many pixels in there. It's not going to look near as good when you print it. So that's why we like the resolution to be 300 when you send it into the lab, so this is an, a, a 10 by 8 at 300, and you'll notice that we have all kinds of data, 3,000 by 2,400 pixels. So that's your, that's your relationship between width and height and resolution. If I was to unclick resample here, now you're going to notice that the width and the height and the resolution is all connected. So if I change this now to 72, my width and my height are going to jump way, way up. My pixels are the same because Photoshop's not changing or resampling the image. It's not adding pixels or taking away pixels. That's the difference. If I click resample again um, and I go back to three, 300, then 
it's going to jack that image size way, way up because now Photoshop is resampling that image. So I'm just simply going to go to my width and knock that back down to 10, and I'm at, back to a 8 by 10 at 300 uh, pixels per inch, which is what I want. But that's kind of the, the relationship between width, height, and resolution. Um, we've talked about aspect ratio and how that's basically the width as it relates to the height. And, and we've also talked about how to crop today using the crop tool. Remember, um, uh, 300 resolution is what your ideal resolution is going to be for White House Custom Color. And thanks for watching.